Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm going to show you how to flash over 10.2 Final. Um, so, if currently I'm on um, Darkies 10.2, but I'm on um, the Golden Master Edition. So, it was the one which was just <laughs> earlier published today, um, because Darkies has been working hard on the ROM, so he's been producing them quite fast. So, I'm just going to go ahead and flash over, and I'll do the exp explaining uh, on what to do um, once it's flashing. So first of all I'm going to go to Darky ROM tools and go into my Darky ROM. That's all good. Right, there we go, now it's flashing. So what I did what I just did there is I did a no wipe um, on uh, Darkie's uh, 10.2 uh, Golden uh, Master Edition. So um, that uh, landed me <laughs> that landed me over on this branch over here. So basically, the first question you have to ask yourself: Are you on GB 2.3.3, 2.3.4? If so, like I was then that's good. Make sure your lag fix is turned on. You can do this. Um, a Sirico uh, made a funny little video on. Um, by turning on uh, your lag fix via recovery or turning it on via the Voodoo app that can be downloaded uh, on the market by Super Curio. So you have to make sure your system is on and lag fix is on. Don't worry about debug mode. Leave that off. I've never turned it on. Once you've done that, you want to download the new Darky app. As you saw, I had the updated version. I don't know if you saw the tick over there at the top status bar, but it was just recently updated. Well, it was updated just earlier today. Download the app, and once you do that, wipe uh, wipe if you're not on Beta 1, Beta 2, or Golden Master Edition. Therefore, I did not have to wipe, although I could have wiped because um, I was on the... I was on a previous beta um, edition. I'll leave the phone over here in the corner. So um, I did not have to wipe. However, if you are on any other, um, if you are on any other version of GB, um, it would be good if you wiped. So, for example, if you're on Darkies JVH 10.1, if you're on 10.1 RE. There you go. Um, if you're on another darky ROM, um, it would be best if you wiped. It would avoid any problems. So make your backups with Titanium Backup or App Save or anything like that. Uh, back your apps up. Right. So what if you're not on GB? For example, you're on Froyo, or even if you're on a different uh, ROM which does not have a dark core on it. Um, I, I say dark core because um, the main reason that we we can go through this branch is because it's dark core and there's dark it's darky rom. However, if it's not dark core or even though e even though it has dark core and you're on a different rom, uh, it would be best if you went through this route. So th through this route, um, have you got GB? No, I'm old school. Um, you have to flash uh, Facetto's JVP base rom. That is of a Odin install. In other words, it will wipe everything you have there. So again, you can make a uh, backup. However, bear in mind, if you're coming from Froyo, you can't backup system apps and whatnot. It, that's just to uh, prevent you from boot loops on, and problems with the apps. So once you've done that, you'll be on Facetto's JVP base ROM. And all you want to do is, uh, once you boot, is turn on lag fix. And once you turn on lag fix, you'll end up over here. So once you end up over here, then you'll download the app again, well, not again, you'll download the app, and then after that, um, you will not need to wipe, um, I mean, you can choose to if you want, but you won't be exactly losing anything, uh, because Odin already came wiped, so wipe, why not, um, have it on, and uh, flash the ROM. And so that's pretty much all there is to it. That's the Froyo installation, coming from Froyo or coming from a different uh, gingerbread uh, ROM or even coming from uh, one of the previous betas that uh, Darky uh, made for uh, 10.2. So um, now we're just going to let it boot up. Um, shouldn't take too long, usually. Um, 
just want to say thanks to Dar Darky for um, producing this ROM. Um, he was working hard uh, today to um, release it as soon as possible. So he released it. Uh, he actually released two ROMs today. Um, one was the Golden um, Master Edition and the other one was 10.2 Final. So uh, props to him for releasing that. Right, so you get a second boot, as you can see over here. By the way, for you guys wondering what the changelog is, it's up um, on the Darky ROM forums. I'll post it down in the description. So right, so I've booted up. Now you can choose your launcher, so I'm just going to go for TW Launcher. Let it boot up a little bit. As you can see, I didn't lose Zeme Launcher, which was one of my apps, as I did a no wipe. So you can see I don't really use a TW Launcher, in fact, but uh, there we go. Right. So you can see TW Launcher working very, very fast indeed. The GB Launcher. Again, working very, very fast. And finally, I'll go back to my Zeme launcher, what I had before. So the widget won't be loading there. And there we go. So it connects. But, um, yep, yeah, apart from that, there you go. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Just go down to about phone. As you can see we're still on the same dark core, dark core 2.9.1 and a darky ROM JVQ. Just the last thing I forgot to mention is as you see over here I'm a dark core 2.9.1 in the uh, in the darky ROM configurator app uh, do not skip the, the modem or the um, the kernel. It's best to keep them cross. <laughs> so not um, not to skip them, so to install it. So it will be better for the installation of uh, the ROM and if you want to change your kernel or modem you can do that after you've flashed. That's my recommendation, that's not needed, but that's my recommendation for um, flashing this ROM. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, please do rate, comment and subscribe and um, I'll post all the description, uh, all the links in the description below so please do check that out before asking where is the download link for so and so it's in the description or even in a video response. So there we go guys, see you, bye bye.